Hey everyone, today I wanted to share a hair and makeup idea for New Year's Eve. This is what I will be wearing this year to celebrate. So starting first with makeup, I applied a shimmery beige cream shadow all over my lid as a base for my eyeshadow. And if you want to see how I did my foundation and concealer, I basically did exactly what I did in my morning routine video, so I will have that linked down below. And then to brighten that up a little bit, I applied this shimmery gold shadow on top of the cream shadow. So I did it all over my lid and then a little into my crease. I applied this deep sage green color in a V shape to the outer corner of my lid. I knew I was going to wear red lipstick so I didn't want to go too heavy, but I did want to do a little more than I typically wear. And then I also apply the same color on the outer corner of my lower lash line. I use my favorite liquid liner from Zuzu Lux and just apply this to my top lash line. And this is probably the most difficult thing to do on camera and stay in focus. I can never seem to do this right. And after that, I curled my lashes and applied my mascara. To highlight under my brow, I used this off-white color. This is a mineral shadow, so it has a little bit of a sheen, but not too much shimmer. I used this bronzer to contour, so I applied it along my temples and then a little underneath my cheekbone and along my jawline and onto my neck. I really like this bronzer because it's not too shimmery, although it does have a tiny bit of light reflecting particles. It's not something that's going to make you look like you have glitter all over your face. And I'm sure you are all sick to death of me using this same cream blush, but it is my favorite and I just, I wear it every single day. What can I say? It's my favorite. And then for a highlighter, I figured that this was a perfect color for New Year's Eve. So I applied this to my cheekbones and then I put on a red lipstick. And I used a brush to apply this lipstick because it just made it not as heavy and I didn't really want it to be too, too much um, because I knew I was putting a gloss on top as well. Plus, I always like to use a brush to apply darker lipsticks because I feel like you have more control. Then to add a little more depth, I applied my lip gloss and this is a deep color but it's not too dark. It has a really nice shimmer and I just think it's a really great color for the holiday season. To curl my hair, I'm using my Lustrum set by Numi. I love this set because it comes with five different styling wands, so you can achieve so many different looks with this, plus they're really great quality, so I will have this for years. So I'm using the 25 millimeter wand for this because I wanted the curls, I didn't want them to be too big, but I didn't want them to be too tight. So I just pulled my hair back in sections and started with the bottom layer. I wrapped each section of hair away from my face around the wand and only had to hold it there for a few seconds. The good thing about this wand is that it heats up really fast and it stays hot so you don't really have to hold your hair on it for a really long time which helps a lot with heat damage. But the curls with this wand last all day and through the next day. I won't even have to do any touch ups. Numi always offers really great discounts, so I do have a couple of discount codes that I wanted to share with you guys. The first code is Glass of Bubbly, and you can get 60% off of their entire website using that code. Or you can use the code Disco Ball to get any curling wand set for $80. So all of that information will be down below in the description.
Once I finished curling my hair, I just brushed out all of the curls with my fingertips and I just loosened up the curls a little bit, but I didn't want them to be too loose. I still wanted the curls to be intact. And then to pull a little bit away from my face, I did one of my go-to hairstyles where I take a little piece of hair, twist it away from my face and put a bobby pin in it and that's it. For my outfit, I did something a little bit different than what you normally see on New Year's Eve and I'm going to wear this lace dress that I got from H&M. So I decided to do lace instead of sparkles, which is what I normally do. But then I'm wearing these earrings that I got from Bobble Bar just to dress the outfit up a little bit. And that is it! So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you would like to watch more videos, then go ahead and click the screen. But I will see you guys soon. Bye!